Hey guys, welcome back. This is part 10 of my Demon Souls playthrough. Uh, last video, we did uh, World 1-3. Uh, we saved Ostrava one more time, and we also rescued Bior and uh, Yuria. Took out the Penetrator uh, with Bior's help. And we also finished up the Ostrava questline in 1-4. Uh, we killed the Blue Dragon, and then uh, basically I went back to the Nexus, and I'm going to burn through all my souls to see how uh, many levels I can gain. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it's going to take a while. So I burned through all my hard soul items and now we are 242,169. Uh, so... Let's get this set back up again real quick, and then we're going to go uh, level up. Let's see what else we need. Fresh spice, and uh, let's put sticky white stuff. All right. Thou soul of the mind, key to life's ether. So I'm going to get my endurance to 20, because uh, there's a piece of armor I want to wear eventually here. And then let's get our luck up as much as we can. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. All right, I, I want to stop at 25 anyway, so we're really close. Out thou done? Okay, so we got a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, I'm gonna go make sure that I'm all prepared. Uh, dump everything off. Uh, actually, it looks like I already did that before I quit out last time. We are in. So the first thing I want to do is try to take out Old King Doran. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go see if Patch is alive. I'm going to go see if he's down there. If he is, I'll show uh, me running there. Uh, if he's not, I'm just going to warp back here because uh, I don't want to waste a lot of time. So I think he might still be alive. Patches is here. So we just have to talk to him. Uh, let's kill this guy just in case. Or maybe not. Okay. You! How did you do that? Worry not. The treasure is all yours. Tough luck with the bear bugs, but you certainly showed them, didn't you? Here it is. The treasure. Safe and sound. Go on. Take it. Take it. <laughs> okay, so he did give us something. If you remember back uh, when I was in this level before, I said that uh, if you talked to Patches afterwards, he would give you something. And apparently I was correct. Uh, so we're going to fast forward this again. I just wanted to go make sure that... Uh, uh, Patches was back at the Nexus because I want to buy a couple things from him. Okay, so now Patches should be here. There he is. Well, uh, I want to buy Shard of Archstone if he has any. Okay, maybe he doesn't have any. Yeah, he does. Because uh, I'm going to need him here shortly because I want to well, go in and out of a couple levels. Was... Uh, I have plenty of souls. Uh, I also killed five crystal lizards. I want to dump that stuff off real quick. Uh, there was two in the tunnel leading to uh, the nest I showed you guys, and then I managed to kill three in the nest somehow uh, by switching targets up. You have a heart of. So now we're gonna actually gonna go kill uh, old King Doran. Now back in the very first video, uh, when I found the first fog gate, there was a blue uh, blue eyed knight there, and I said. Uh, that there's an area down there I didn't want to go to yet because there was a very nasty red eye knight. Uh, so that's exactly where we're going. It's not too far away. But Old King Dorn is actually a pretty tough opponent. He can almost one shot you, uh, even with pretty good armor and vitality. It doesn't seem to matter. Uh, so uh, a lot of people cheese him by different methods. Uh, there's all kinds of different methods. If you go on the wiki, you'll see all kinds of different ways to kill the guy. Uh, I'm going to try to do it in a more legit fashion. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work out, but we're going to see. Uh, 
Uh, these guys aren't doing much damage. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of run past most of them. Uh, but I did prepare for this fight a little bit. I have a New Game Plus character uh, from the first time I played. Uh, who I actually hadn't gone really through hardly any of the game with. So I went over to uh, Old King Doran. And I farted around and just tried to find a method to kill him without totally cheesing him. Uh, so we'll see how it works out. may not work the first time. Uh, but if I die a few times, I'll just show you uh, the final version when I actually do kill him. But with any luck, I might get him on the first try. Uh, I can parry his one-hand attack. Uh, but his two-handed attack, uh, it's very difficult to parry because it's faster. And uh, even if I hit the button the instant I see him flinch, it doesn't seem fast enough to parry him. And when he two-hands his uh, weapon, it's almost instant death. Uh, so I figured out another option. But again, I don't know if it's going to work the first time. I managed to pull it off a new game plus. Uh, so we shall see. Uh, but before you kill him, uh, you, if you just do a certain amount of damage to him, uh, he gives you a reward. But if you keep attacking him afterwards, that's when he gets uh, aggro on you. Thou who seeketh the king's sword, I am the old king. Show me thine strength and the strength of thine souls. Prepare okay. thyself, brave knight. Oop, that was my bad. Because there was text up, it wouldn't let me hit my button. I'm going to get myself to full real quick. Before he, uh... Thou dost well to impress one such as me, young knight. I am old King Doran. And thou hast proven thine strength to me. Go forth and take the king's sword in thine hand. So I will, but first, uh, we're going to kill him all the way. Because you can get a little bit of free damage on him. Before he fully aggros you. Oh, you jerk. Uh, once he grabs that sword with two hands, it becomes a whole different ball game. So we're still pretty safe. Okay, is he not going to let me backstab him? I am the old king. Darest thou to challenge me? Very well. Oh, I dareth. But may thou be determined from the depths of thine heart, else thou shalt fail. May fate be with you. Oi. Oh, I forgot to cast second chance. Okay, so let's try this again with second chance actually engaged, just in case. So the reason I'm going through all the trouble of trying to fight this guy in a more legit way is because uh, you guys that have seen my Dark Souls videos know that I play a lot more skillfully. Uh, but with Demon Souls, I just haven't played it in enough time to get the timing down uh, for all the different uh, enemies and stuff. So I'm trying to do this to show that uh, you can play this game with just as much finesse as you can Dark Souls. And there's a ton of ways to beat this guy. Uh, if you go online, you look at all the different methods. There's just a ton of ways to do it. And uh, they're all cheesy methods, kind of abusing the mechanics. So I'm going to try to do it in more of a legit fashion. Kind of a little test for me here. All right. This is the part that's been screwing me up. Man, see what I mean by doing so much damage? He's no joke. If you hit him too early, it doesn't stun him. That's why it's dangerous to hit people when they're getting up, unless you know that that one hit is going to actually kill him. 
it's better to just kind of risk it. Um, I said that wrong. It's better to not risk it. It's better to do something a little bit more safe. Not that that's any safer, but uh, at least I can kind of control the uh, dodge timing. And the more I play with this game, the more I'm getting the dodge down. Uh, it is a little bit tougher for me at first because I felt like there was a delay. But then after playing it, uh, actually, it does feel pretty similar to Dark Souls. Don't you heal, you bastard. <laughs> nice death cry. Uh, so I guess in a way you could call that cheese. But it does take a little bit of timing. One screw up and uh, it's all over. Uh, so just so you know, I can't wear that. But it looks exactly like it does on him. That is male uh, only armor. I will show you this weapon. The Demon Brant. Uh, the first time I played through the game, I actually used this weapon. And it was way too easy because it's so powerful. Uh, there's another one called Soul Brant that you can get at the end of the game. And you can use both of them together to create a special weapon. And these weapons, let's see if I can show you. The damage is based on your world tendency. And I think the Demon Brant, uh, actually not, sorry, my, my bad, not world tendency, character tendency. And I think the Demon Brant is uh, when you have pure white tendency, it does more damage. And then the, the Soul Brant is the opposite. It gives you more damage when you have pure black tendency. So we're going to use a Shard of Arstone to uh, get back to the Nexus. So that's a very powerful weapon. That's the reason a lot of people will cheese that fight, so they can get that early. Uh, I wanted the ring. That ring, by the way, is exactly like... Uh, uh, what is it called? The Chloranthia ring from Dark Souls. It's a stamina regen ring. It's the only stamina regen item I know of in the game, actually. Uh, so we're going to dump all the stuff off, because we're awful heavy. Thank goodness you are sick. Uh... But I just thought you guys might like to enjoy seeing me actually do something somewhat skillful instead of fumbling around all the time. Okay. So that's taken care of. And now, I'm probably pure black in uh, Boletarian Palace. If not, I'm really, really close. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to save that for later. We are going to go do my favorite world. Uh, world 3, Tower of Latria. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the first part because it's I get lost in it. I've only done it a few times and uh, there's a lot of doors with keys and I get turned around real easily. So bear with me as I make my way through this level. I'm going to try to do it as efficiently as I can. Uh, I have to say these are my favorite levels. 3-1, 3-2 out of both Dark Souls and Demon Souls games. They're just awesome level design, dripping with atmosphere, absolutely creepy. Uh, so the cells with nothing in them, I'm not going to open up. The reason being, those guys uh, actually get in your way. Some of them don't attack you, some of them are, are they're non-aggressive, but they run up next to you. Uh, while others are very aggressive. These guys can be a pain if you uh, let them get too close to you and cast a certain kind of magic. Basically, they're mind flares for you D&D nuts out there. And they kind of do similar style attack, actually. And let me cast Second Chance before I forget. Every time you go back to the Nexus, uh, Second Chance resets. And most likely, any of your buffs like that probably do. Okay, so this is basically like a prison. And as such, there's different levels and there's keys to different levels and uh, it's easy to get lost. Oh, see, that's what you don't want to happen. You're frozen like that. It doesn't do any damage, but what they do is they do a special grab move on you. And uh, when they do that grab move, it could almost one-shot you. Uh, there's a few different uh, armors in this level. Some of you guys have been asking me to change my armor up, and I, I do plan to. But uh, 
I gotta get through this level first. Seems like this is actually the level that has the most different armor. So yeah, this guy isn't bothering me. Well, if I let the guys out of the cells that don't bother me... Uh-oh. This could be bad. Oh, got him. Thankfully, they only take one or two hits to kill. Uh, but as I was saying... Uh, actually, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> I lost track. Oh, these guys get in your way. So if you're trying to roll around and dodge from somebody, uh, sometimes those guys surround you, and if you get one of those mind flares next to you, it's not a good thing. So I try not to let too many of those guys out. And also, some of them, like I said, are aggressive, and they mix in with the other ones, so it's really hard to tell what's going on sometimes. It just adds a little bit more chaos. See, those guys will attack me, but there's nothing in the cell, so I'm not going to let them out. In fact, I could just kill them. It also helps me, uh, helps me remember where I'm at by leaving some of the cells uh, closed. So I'm just going to run by and peek at the ones uh, that have stuff in them. So I just picked up a key that's going to let me open up some of those uh, locked doors that you saw me uh, not be able to open earlier. Okay, I'm going to try to focus here. I always say I'm going to try not to die, but it doesn't always work out for me. Uh, but we're really going to try to be careful here. Sometimes I do good for a while. Oh, I almost forgot that key. And uh, Please I relax, and it ends up getting me killed. Okay, so we got a second set of wizard's clothes. If you uh, weren't playing a royalty, that's where you would get it. Right, since I already have the set, obviously, it's not going to do me any good. Okay, back where we started. And assuming I can't go anywhere else, this is the next area. One of the keys I got was for this. Okay. So that was the third floor. Now we're going on to the fourth. I'm trying to remember where we're at. See how this guy is just kind of being a pain. Just gets in your way. And they always seem to surround you at the worst possible time. Right when you're trying to dodge one of those mind flare attacks. Uh... I kind of want you guys to see it, but then again, I don't want to die to show you. Okay, this one's locked. So, yeah, you got to do a lot of backtracking in this level, which is one of the reasons I'm not that big of a fan of this level, per se. I like the entire layout of the world. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of backtracking worlds like this. But... Oh. See, these are the aggressive guys, and they're kind of mixed in with the others. So, we're going to kill them all, just to be safe. Can you hear that singing? That's actually not the soundtrack. There's actually somebody in here who I just forgot about. I think they're over here. Oh, actually, no, they're not. Oh, they're on the other side. That's why we can hear. When I first played this, I actually thought that uh, that was just part of the soundtrack. But then I noticed that when you get near it, it's louder. She's on the other side of that wall. I think we'll see her soon. Definitely adds a little bit of creepiness to this uh, level. Uh, definitely got the thief ring on because I don't want those mind flares seeing me from far away. I already got our first set of different armor. So, just to show you guys, we're going to put it on. As you guys are probably tired of seeing me in the outfit I'm wearing. This is basically just the thief set. I'm not going to wear the mask. Uh, if you want to see it, I will show you. Kind of looks more like a veil than a mask. Uh, but I want to keep this coronet on because it gives me uh, more mana, basically. And I only have enough to cast uh, Second Chance when I'm using the Silver Catalyst and the Circlet. 
Uh, the reason I put that thief armor also is because that guy can poison you. I remember him. Uh, these guys actually drop spice. You end up going through this level, you get quite a bit of spice. There we go. Now one of these areas has a drop off. And there it is right there. You gotta be really careful in here. There's a couple drops. This one won't kill you, but it'll make you have to backtrack even more. Uh, so we will definitely stay away from that. There is a couple in here that will kill you, and hopefully uh, they don't get me. It's a really dark level, and I don't like cranking up my gamma too much because it might make the video look kind of weird. So I'm just going to have to be really alert. I think that's all I can get over here. trying to use my uh, grass, but whenever there's something on the screen, I won't let you. <laughs> that title showing the door that I opened wasn't allowing me to uh, hit my button. Okay, we're getting there. Now, I remember this first part, but now it's going to start uh, getting a little bit more difficult. And this game actually does have like a line of sight with the thief ring on. If you hide behind something like this, they actually don't see you. Alright. I think there's a drop or a wall right here too. Oh, there's the singer. You're an ordinary human, aren't you? Where do you call home? Dear me, I shouldn't pry. Oh, perhaps you'd like something from my collection. I've had better days. I was once the wife of royalty. And I have some nice things to show for it. Before, there were many others trapped here. But they went mad and ventured above of their own volition. Redemption? <laughs> there exists no such thing. The queen banished her depraved old husband from the land. He returned in strange golden garb with foul demons in tow. They pillaged great Latria, land of the learned, and locked us in this dungeon. Since then, they've been feeding off our souls, telling us over and over that if we go above, we will be granted redemption. I know the truth. The church goddess may die, but never for long. And we are trapped below forever. Redemption. Okay. Well, that's Said all I needed. She doesn't uh, sell too much different stuff. Mostly spice and things like that. So there's another drop off there. Definitely don't want to uh, go in there. So now she's singing again. So there is a path that we can't get through yet. There's a couple things that rely on a white world tendency. Uh, so we're not going to be able to do it yet. But depending on the time, uh, I might jump into the next level to do what I need to do uh, to get those areas open so we can finish up this level completely. A stock. Those are Iron Maidens, by the way. Scary part is those things actually existed. Ring of Magical Sharpness. Something tells me that boosts my magic power. Uh, just my guess. Okay, it's going to start getting a little bit more tricky here. I know there's going to be a lot of different stairways. This is where I used to get turned around a lot. Uh, I can't do what I want to do here yet, but I will show you that there is somebody in here that we need to release. And I think he's right up here. There he is. Sage Freck. Uh, or Frecke. I'm, I'm assuming it's Sage Freck. Not Sage Freak, by the way. Okay. 
Uh, I don't have this, the key yet. I get the key at the very end of the level. So I can't get in there yet. I don't have the right key. But I'm uh, marking my way down to it. So this level isn't really all that tough. There's not a lot of enemies. Uh, but it's easy to get lost. And if you're not used to fighting those mind flares, uh, they can kill you really, really quickly. Okay, let's go here first. So I think this is the area uh, where there's a path that you can't cross. Let's go verify that. He should lose track of me here pretty quick. Actually, he did lose track of me. I could have turned around and backstabbed him. So somewhere up here, there's some debris where I can't get past. I can't remember if it's this area or not. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh. Talk to this guy. Well... You are a sane one, aren't you? My name is Ridiel. Please liberate me from this cell. I have precious little time. I must retrieve an article from my corpse. So, uh, we can't free him yet. Again, I think that's one of the things that uh, requires white, white world tendency in order to uh, gain a key. So there's the uh, rubble I was talking about. Help me. In a white world tendency, that rubble will be gone and we'll be able to get uh, to the other side. Uh, but to unlock that <clears throat> cell with that guy in it, there's a specific key we have to get from 3-2, which also requires white world tendency uh, in order to actually get the key. Okay, we're going to work down to the bottom floor. There's only really one, uh, oop, better watch out. One hostile enemy down here. How did I know that was going to almost hit me? So the guy that you hear occasionally yell, help me. Uh, that was, uh, Riddell. Silver bracelets. I think silver bracelets, uh, when you wear them, they fit your glove slot. They actually uh, uh, give you more souls per kill, if I remember correctly. And you saw I just picked up that fluted armor. It's just kind of basic armor. I don't think it's very special. I think possibly one of the uh, starting characters or starting classes actually can get that armor from the get go. So I might end up dropping it off. I'm never going to wear it. This guy's come out of Nightmare to fight. You see, I think it's called a Chain Prisoner. Very similar. Uh, well, not very similar. He looks different. But same idea as the one in the DLC of Dark Souls. I'm actually not even going to mess with this dude. Uh, he does a lot of damage. Good thing I was paying attention. Oh, I thought that was a drop. There is a drop over here somewhere. i got to be really careful. Uh, but with the thief ring on, let's make sure I have it. Oh, I don't have it on. That's my problem. I thought I had it. With the thief ring on, he won't see me from very far away. So once you pass him, uh, he won't attack you. Okay, I know it's over here somewhere. Oh, I think there's a door back here. Yep. Okay. This doesn't really lead anywhere that gets you further in the level. It's just a uh, little hidden area. More loot. And yeah, I saw that thing, uh, that glowing thing on the outside there, but I can't get to it yet. I am aware that it's there. Great, another S talk. This is what I needed. Uh, but that that one right there, I can't get to yet. So I am aware that it's there. Don't think that I just somehow missed it. Okay. There's the hole, and that one will kill you. I knew it was around here somewhere. 
There's a crystal lizard over there. Uh, he's sort of a trap because he runs towards the hole. So the, uh, they're trying to make sure that you chase after them. Let's we'll see if we can make it, get him before he gets there. Yep. Okay. I'm amazed that I actually have enough room to do anything. So I don't think we can do anything here yet. This is going to be on the other side of uh, floor two across from where Riddell was. I think his name's Lord Riddell. I would have pronounced it Rydell, but he said himself it's Riddell. Yeah, it's locked, so we don't have the right key for it. It's the same key uh, that we get from the next level. But uh, So when we come back, i got to try to remember exactly where uh, all these areas are that I can backtrack. Okay, this is where I want to go. Oh, cutscene. So, that thing fires out a bunch of arrows. And you will see very shortly. It is possible to roll past them. However, I'm not as good at dodging in this game uh, as I am Dark Souls, so I'm not going to attempt it. I might be able to make it, I might not, and I don't want to have to run through all that again. Uh, but there are some stuff hidden down here. So I got a lot of those stones now. It should be easy to get pure black in all the worlds without too much effort. And by the way, I plan on doing that at the very end. I want to finish up all the basic levels first. Uh, and then at the very end, I'll go put all worlds in pure black and go do all the pure black events. Uh, it includes hopefully finding all the primeval demons and uh, also killing the, the uh, black phantoms that show up. So that one that I said I couldn't get earlier, this is how you get it. So you don't have to run by those arrows. There's a way to go around. Uh, that's the way we're going to take because it's safer anyway. Uh, let's see what it is. Actually, you know what? We're going to get rid of this fluted armor. I'm not ever going to wear it, and it's just super heavy. So we're just going to drop it all off. Fluted gauntlets. Fluted leggings. Drop. Okay. Let's see what this was. Mercury Raper. <laughs> Raper. Rapier. Uh, I don't remember what Mercury does, to be honest with you. There's so many different upgrade paths, I just don't remember what they all do. Okay, so now we got a backtrack. The first thing I picked up over here was a key. I'm so tempted to try to run past that thing. It saves you a little time, uh, but I don't want to do it. I am not that bold. Alright, so... Uh, we got the key we needed to do the next area, which is the previous doors we were at that we couldn't get past, if I can find them. Uh, it's like, uh, I think they're called the Jailer Door or something like that, Jailer Chamber. Uh, I gotta remember where they are, though. Yeah, I'm getting myself turned around already. Oh, no, here we are, right here. So there's two doors. There's one here and there's one on the other side. They both lead to the same place. Uh, there's just, uh, I think there's like one treasure in each row. So we'll go back and get the other one. But there are two uh, mind flares here. Ooh, and there's one. I do not want to die at this point. We're going to wait for him to uh, either get close or turn around. And if these guys weren't scary enough, there are Black Phantom versions in the next area. Alright. We're getting there. There we go. Okay, now we're going to go bypass that uh, 
I don't even know what you call it. It's like a siege machine. I guess that's what you would call it. Uh, you can't go in that gate. It's just for looks. Let's go turn this thing off. Okay, so now we can go loot all the good stuff here. Storage soldier. Clever rat's ring. Now the clever rat's ring is basically like uh, the red tear stone ring. Except it works at 30% instead of 20%. So the red tear stone at 20% you would still likely die in one hit. However, 30% gives you a little bit more leeway so it's not quite as dangerous to use. Uh, so the boss is up there. There's two things uh, we're going to do. First, oops, the stairway. There is some loot up here. I don't remember what it is, but we're going to go get it anyway. I think it's the silver coronet that I'm already wearing on my head. Uh, but we'll see to make sure. So uh, there's a path on the other side of this. Exactly the same. And we're going to have to go on that next. So there's a trick to this boss, and someone who doesn't actually know that may actually struggle at first to defeat the boss. And the reason being, uh, there is a person, well, I wouldn't call him a person, he's like draggling. He's doing some sort of magical spell, and he's what is bringing the boss to life. So if you try to kill a boss, she'll never actually die. No, it was a silver catalyst. Uh, that's him right there. Uh, he's called a liar. In fact, if you play online, I think it all, somebody always drops a sign that says liar ahead. Uh, he basically tells you he's not doing anything wrong. Don't mess with him. And if you don't mess with him and try to fight the boss, you'll never actually be able to kill the boss. Uh, but by killing him first, it ensures you can actually finish the boss off. Uh, but there's also a key where he's at, which will allow us to uh, unlock Sage Freck from his cage. Uh, but we're going to do that when we come back. I don't want to run back right now. I want to do everything I can to get up to the boss and get to the Nexus Stone. Whoops, wrong way. Okay, that side done. Now one more. This boss isn't particularly hard. Uh, reminiscent of Pinwheel. She casts magic and she creates clones of herself. And obviously the clones, uh, if you're attacking them, then you're not actually hurting her. But there are ways to tell which one is the real her. Uh, but worse than Pinwheel, she has these little uh, magic signs on the ground. And if you step on one, it freezes you in place, uh, which makes it easier for uh, easy for her in general to hit you with her magic. Uh, so I don't remember being all that tough. I do remember there being a piece of loot behind her that uh, if you don't pick up during the fight, it disappears when you actually finish the fight. So we're going to try to remember that. So let's get this key first. Talk to him. What? Who do you want? I am a humble servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause you trouble. I won't. <laughs> All right. So they see that sign on the ground he had. I think it looks pretty similar. Does it have any loot? No. It looks pretty similar to uh, the signs you're going to see on the ground over here when I'm fighting. Uh, there's a way to drop down here. There's a little treasure on this ledge. But it's sort of a trap because there is a black phantom with a crossbow and a very nasty dagger waiting for us down there and you can't see her because she has a thief ring on so until you're in lock on range she's invisible and I think the weapon she has uh, can give the plague to you which is why they give you that so let's see what we can do here oh nice she caught me on the ground I really want to parry her but I really don't want to die Screw it. Let's try it. Well, at this point, there's no point in doing it. 
So this blue blood sword actually is pretty good against shields because most of the shields that people use uh, or enemies use don't have any magic protection. So if half the damage uh, we're doing is magic damage, it still gets through. All right, there's our boss fog. We're going to make sure we got some sticky white stuff because I want to make sure we kill her quick. Fool's Idol. That's kind of a dead giveaway that she's not real. Alright, let's see what we can do with her. Oh, I had no uh, stamina left. Okay. Well, there's the weapon that you can't get. Oh, I got lucky. That happened to be the real one. So, oh. So for the non-Demon Souls players, you probably realize very quickly, very similar to uh, Synth's Fortress and Anne Orlando, Gargoyles and Dark Souls. Uh, so we're human, and I don't want to lose that, and it looks like we are in pure white, as far as I can tell. Actually, we're not in pure white, which I'm surprised. So it looks like we may not be able to open up the shortcut that I want to open up. I thought we would be in pure uh, white by now, after killing the one boss. Unless I have to go back to the Nexus first. Let's find out. Uh, I'm going to go kill myself in uh, World 2 real quick. Because again, I'm trying to use my uh, my being human uh, as efficiently as possible. So we'll check when we come back. I'm hoping we're in pure white. We were in pure white after one boss kill with uh, the other worlds. Uh, if we're not, then I'm going to have to kill... Uh, the boss of 3-2 before we can go back and get the stuff out of 3-1. So we'll have to see here. But first, got to kill ourselves. So it's pretty convenient to kill yourself in uh, this level. Because by the way the blood stains work, it's like a 10-15 to 15 second uh, place you were previously. And so it's conveniently right there. Okay. Let's go back into the Nexus. And then we'll check our world tendency. Uh, if Tower of Latria is not pure white, then we're going to have to call it quits for the day because I'm going to have to go through the entire level. If it is pure white, we'll go in there and get the key that we need. It is now pure white. Good. So basically, you have to go back to the Nexus after killing a boss to make it go up. So let's level up while we're here. Okay, that's the last little bit we're putting into luck. Because I, I think it pretty much, after that, you get minimal uh, increments, or a minimal damage increase uh, from scaling. So let's dump off what we got. We'll have just enough time to go get the key that I want to get. So that's the item I picked up when fighting the Fool's Idol boss. It's just a dagger. See what it says. 
A dagger coated with plague, the blade is curved like a talon. Often used by women and children for assassination. Among the various unique weapons, this is, uh, this one is especially sinister. Uh, yeah, it sounds that way. That's pretty brutal. Okay, silver catalyst, kite shield. Let's get rid of everything we don't need. All right, now we have plenty of room to pick stuff up. And while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and repair my item. I can just to be thorough. You come back. Okay, right back into three dash two. Uh, and we're gonna try to get that key. So what I was saying about the fool's idol boss, uh, she ended up being right next to me after she came, uh, when she split up with her clones, so I got really lucky. The easiest way to tell her is that uh, her clones fire out small soul arrows and she fires out the big one. So if you stay behind the pillars and kind of wait to see uh, which one fires out the big one, you can find her pretty easily. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to pick up a bunch of stuff on the way. This is kind of like a single-minded mission here. So like that thing right there, we'll come back and get it on the second trip. Uh, so I'm going to kind of rush through here just to get this key so we can go back. Uh, let me guess. No, I still have my thief ring on. Okay. So there's gargoyles all over this level and they can fly. Uh, they're not too tough though, but they can be a pain. If you know they're coming, they're not so bad. So the basic gist of this level is there's these two big humongous hearts and you can hear them pumping uh, and you want to basically make them fall and so that's kind of what you're shooting for uh, but we're not worried about that right now I think there's items down here yeah there is down there but like I said we're gonna come back uh, on the next video and take our time in this level because this is my favorite level of the game by far And I don't want to rush through it. Uh, so just don't fear me missing a bunch of stuff. It's purposeful. I don't want to do half the level now and half later. I just want to come do this one thing. There's a little gap up here with an elevator. I'm afraid to run too fast because I don't want to miss it. Again, because I have the thief ring, I'm able to run uh, run by these guys pretty well. Uh, without the thief ring, they probably would be following me a lot longer. Why am I all dusty looking? Am I poisoned or something? Notice that coming off me? I don't know what that is. Never paid attention. I never uh, noticed that. We're not taking damage. So we're not even going to kill these guys. We're not going to do any of this. I'm just going to save it for next time. I'm not going to pick that up. We are going to do one thing though. We are going to kill Yurt. Which is right here. Actually, oh you know what I did? I screwed up. It's okay. We'll kill Yurt. I totally ran by the area. I was so concentrated on killing Yurt. Are you here to fight the demons? If so, then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. So, this is one of the cooler armor sets. Why you? And the reason I'm killing him uh, now is because he's like Lotric and he will kill people. And I don't even want to give him the chance. So we're just gonna kill him now. And you said you wanted to see a cool armor set. So I am gonna show you one. I think that's my favorite armor set of all. I mean, that's pretty wicked looking. It looks like it's got hands coming out of the shoulders, more like claws. Those are claws. And of course, he's got the two spikes on the helmet. Uh, it's a really cool looking armor. Of course, I can't wear it because I'm uh, fat rolling. 
But I think I can keep the chest because that's why I put my uh, stamina to 20. Yes, except I don't want to really roll off. Okay, so where can I go? I forget how to get down. Oh, you know what? We're going to use the shard of archstone because I, like I said, I screwed up. I was uh, thinking about yurt. And I missed the area I wanted to go to. So we're going to go back to the, uh, the nexus and come right back in. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, back to 3-2. Uh, I will probably speed this up since you guys already saw me run through it. I'll slow it back down when we get to the part uh, that matters. Okay, so we're back here again. My apologies for screwing up and uh, forgetting. This ramp right here, our bridge, whatever you want to call it, is not here in any other time but pure white. Uh, this is what I wanted to come do. It leads up a little higher. And uh, I don't want to run up here too quick because I don't want to fall off like an idiot. Okay, this is what I wanted. Prison of Hope, second floor west. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and warp back. Those things are kind of expensive at 5,000 souls, but it's worth a hell of a run. Okay, now, one more time, guys. I just want to get us taken care of now so I don't have to worry about it in the next uh, video. So now it's just going to be a mad dash to uh, the three areas that I need to go to. Just got to remember where they are. If I get too lost and it takes too long, uh, I'll speed it up, but I think I might know where they're at. We're just going to try to do a mad dash through here. Uh, so anyway, like I was saying, definitely my favorite world uh, in both games. I just love the atmosphere here. It's definitely got a big creep factor to it. There's just a lot of detail. Uh, but the next level is my favorite. Uh, we'll get to see that next time. Okay, we're getting there. I think I go straight here. Uh, we will find out. I hope I don't fall. Nope, there's the door. Alright, we're getting there. I haven't gotten too lost yet. Okay, I think one is here. I think Sage Freck. Yes. Magnificent. I never expected to get out of there alive. My name is Freck. I am known as a sage. I thought my magic would give me an edge against these demons, but how wrong I was. I have been enfeebled by my long imprisonment. But I can still move my legs, and I can make it back to the Nexus. I thank the stars that I escaped when I did. I owe you my life. Uh, Gary Stiletto. It's basically like a... It looks like a dagger, but it works kind of like a uh, piercing weapon. And uh, it scales off magic, I believe. All right, so one down. So apparently his name is Frake, Sage Frake. Uh, he will be in the Nexus the next time we go back, and he is a uh, vendor who sells, obviously, magic spells. But he's a special vendor in that he makes uh, special spells uh, for demon souls. So in the next video, we'll talk to him, and uh, we'll also talk to... Oop, oh, that's not what I want to do. That's floor one, so we missed our uh, floor two spot up here, I think. Unless that's just where we came from and I'm already lost. Let's double check. No, 
I think this is right. All right, there is some armor in here that's pretty cool looking. Uh, if this is uh, the right area, I just don't want to fall off. Help me! Yeah, we're coming, bro. Here you go. Oh, why? Thank you. Thank you, kind soul. Please, take this fine piece of work. Besides, I have no use for it now. Ah, oh, and thus begins my final, eternal rest. Dual Ratch Ring, that is like a, uh, the Blue Tear Stone Ring. It's a matching pair for the, uh, the Clever Ratch Ring. By the way, I think the most efficient way for me to get into Black World Tendency would be to kill him. I could have killed uh, Skurvir, uh, but I just didn't want to risk screwing up my White Tendency. Uh, but I think he'll like knock my... Uh, I think he knocks World Tendency down. Maybe it's just Character Tendency. I don't know. Because I don't know, I don't want to do it. Uh, I'm just going to do the simple method. That's a Witch's Hat. It uh, looks just like Yuria. Uh, there's one more in here somewhere. Uh, venerable sages. So we've already gotten like what? Three or four sets of armor out of here? And there's one more, strangely enough. Okay, that's it for this side. So we got one more side to do. And I think that'll be done, uh, be it for the white tendency in uh, Tower of Latria. Uh, in black tendency, I think he shows up as a black phantom. Uh, and I've never actually killed him in black phantom form, so I have no idea what to expect. Okay, so now I know where the last one is. I didn't get too lost. I missed one turn, and, but uh, I recovered quick enough where I didn't run around for too long. Okay, the next one is over here. I didn't want to get near this dude. I see the crystal lizard, but uh, I'm not really worried about him right now. If I actually plan on making more weapons, I would definitely be getting all the crystal lizards, but I'm really not that concerned about it. I got my main weapon already, and it's well beyond powerful enough to finish the game with. You can actually finish the game with an SL9 Barbarian without upgrading equipment, so anything more than that is a bonus. Still not ephemeral eyes. Yeah, I got a good stack of those now. I want to make sure I'm not missing it. And I see a Mind Flare down there. I think I'm far enough away he won't see me, but I don't want to risk it. I've done pretty well on this level so far. Hmm. Thankfully, one hit kills him. Alright, so I know the armor's here somewhere. This could possibly be it. Oh, appears to be locked. So, I'm missing a key. I forgot that the key is in one of these cells. Uh, hopefully it wasn't the one I just came from. Oh great, and there's a uh, mind flare here. Nice dodge, right? I'm getting better, guys. If I played this game for a few more weeks and really practiced, I'm sure I could get close to my level of Dark Souls skill. But it's so much like Dark Souls, I really still kind of want to move on. There we go. Now I can get all this stuff. Oh, of course I opened the wrong cell. So this is going to be pretty much it. As soon as I get this last uh, set of armor and stuff, uh, we'll be done for this video. Uh, next video is probably going to be a good one because I'm going to go through 3-2. Uh, depending on how much time is left over. Oh, I'll fight the uh, the old monk as well. And sadly, I will not be fighting the old monk online because it'll screw up my uh, tendencies. There we go. Let's show you guys what this looks like real quick. Oh, I guess it's only the body. 
This is actually a pretty cool light armor set. Kind of reminds me of the shadow set to an extent, but because it's got kind of the same gold trim around it. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, but we are going to stick with the gloom armor. Except, I don't know which of these is better. I guess it doesn't really matter. They're both pretty much the same. Alright, so uh, I think that's it, guys. I'm pretty sure that there's nothing left. Oh, now that I say that, there's uh, one here. Let's check this last row. I don't remember what's in here. You know, Soldier Soul. Oh. Apparently, this is actually heavier. Oh, yeah. Barely heavier. So apparently, I was only within a couple points of uh, being heavy. Oh, by the way, I don't think I've ever said, uh, for those that didn't play Demon Souls, uh, fast roll, you only need 50% burden or less. Uh, they changed that for Dark Souls. But uh, I think this is it. Let's check one more area of cells here. Alright, I think that's it, guys. Alright, so we're going to head back to the Nexus, and I'm going to end the video. Uh, next video, we'll talk to the NPCs we haven't talked to yet. I forgot that Yuria is in there. Uh, the witch we saved, and we'll also talk to Sage Freck. Uh, so, until then, guys, take it easy.